threshold training, you can get a lot of uh, good volume in there. Um, and sometimes your body is really fresh when it comes to that Sunday long run. Other t- other times, maybe if you've overcooked a few sessions throughout the week, you can be a little bit tired. So I like to use my Sunday long run as a bit of a, a buffer. If I'm feeling good, I'll push them on. But if I'm if I'm not feeling great, I'll make sure I stick to an easier pace. Um, so yeah, that's a typical week for me at the moment is uh, three days of hard training and, and four days of easy running. It's a good balance with threshold because it's not too overboard. Like if anyone was like, oh, you're doing four sessions a week. If it's double day thresholds, people be like, oh, that's too much. But with threshold, it's a very balanced and controlled effort. So, you, yeah. you know, there's lots of science behind it um, with the Ingebrigtsons and Marius Bakken, who was the founder of that sort of traditional method. And he talks about how the mechanics of threshold don't cause too much impact on your body. So then mm-hmm. you can recover fine. And hence why you can do double session days. The results speak for itself. And uh, in the elite world, a lot of people are doing a lot more of it now and seeing the same benefits because unfortunately it's running, even though it's not as simple as this for some people, it's generally the more you do, obviously controlled, the better you are. But then you've also yeah. got to, you've also got to combine that with avoiding injury and avoiding for too much fatigue. So it's a balance, but generally speaking, if you can optimize optimize the balance of staying injury free and fatigue free or overly fatigued and just do more, you're going to get better. It's that yeah. simple. And that's the secret with, with threshold training, really. If anyone's looking at maybe giving it a go for the first time is you probably want to undercook the sessions, if anything. Um, as soon as you start going over your lactic threshold, that's when you start getting fatigued and the overall training volume is a bit too much to handle. So, yeah, as long as you're controlled in your in your threshold training, then you can handle quite a lot of, of volume, I find. Just uh, I was going to keep this training tip secret for a while because I wanted to do a video on it when I learned about it more. But something I found in lockdown was by accident because I had a treadmill what wouldn't go fast enough. So I had to play around with the incline of the treadmill. And yeah. threshold uh, incline rather than pace. So let's say you you the tread let's say you set the treadmill to 16 kilometers an hour, but you use a 4.5 or 5% incline. Um yeah. you're still getting the threshold effort. However, it increases the avoidance of injury risk. It it, it okay. lowers the injury risk because you're running uphill and the impact's less, but you're still getting the same time of threshold as well Mm -hmm. as receiving the hill rep running up a hill benefit, which is core because it engages more muscles and strengthening and efficiency. So it is something um, I highly recommend trying for anyone listening as well as you. Uh, Cause it's, I've noticed some ridiculous results when I had to do it. Um, I'd get on the flat and feel phenomenal like the Mm. the next session. So it's what sort of pace difference would you change so, like how much would you change varying on the the incline so how like for example my average threshold pace at the gym on the on the treadmill at the moment is about 11 miles per hour so like what would how would you recommend adjusting that do you think so there is some calculators but i've found that they're quite uh varied so i've actually got a calculation for everyone that uh tim man so coach tim man so tom schwartz an american coach mm-hmm. who used to coach tim and Elite, told me so above 13 kilometers an hour, you already need to set it to 1% incline, generally speaking, to set the same effort. Uh, some yeah. treadmills are 0.5, some treadmills are zero. But generally speaking, when you're doing the incline, you add 1% onto to what I'm about to say. So for, <laughs> this is where it gets complicated. So what you would do is, let's say I am doing, let's say I want to run three three minute, 20 kilometers, which is 18 kilometers an hour, I believe. So if I want to run 18 kilometers an hour, I would do 18 kilometers an hour, which is a hundred and no, which is 200 seconds. I would get 200 seconds. And let's say if I set the treadmill at 16 kilometers an hour and wanted to convert the incline, 16, 16, 16 kilometers an hour is 225 seconds per kilometer. So you do right. two, you do 200 minus, no, you do 225 minus 200. And then that number you would divide by 9.32. And that gives you the incline you'd need to put it on. And wow. then you add, what, you, add, you add 1% onto that and you can reverse that. So if you, if you want to figure out exact paces, you can times an incline by 9.32 and figure out the pace. Um, I'll leave that in the description for anyone because it's quite complicated to listen to it um yeah that sounds good i'll probably have a little look at that myself 
yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really good. I've noticed significant improvements uh, and benefits from that, as well as avoiding injury risks uh, even more. So it is, yeah. it's really good. But obviously you go off time and not distance because you are running less. But like in a 36 minute threshold, you climb like 1,400 feet if, if you do a normal incline. And that's a long way. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it is, it's really interesting. You get strong um, with that as well, aren't you? Absolutely. And you form the efficiency of running up a hill engages different muscles and also makes you really focus on running with an efficient form. And when you get on flat, it feels, I'm sure you everyone's done it. Like as soon as you get on, even if you're doing weights and then you do the same movement without the weights, it feels very, very easy. Same with running up a hill on a treadmill. As soon as you run on the flat, it feels easy. So many different benefits yeah. to that. 